Hello friends, we are starting the second lesson of the Arduino course for beginners. In this lesson we will make smart lighting based uh, on our three color LED. For this lesson you will need an Arduino Uno board, uh, a RGB LED or just a LED, uh, 10k ohms resistors, 3 or even 4 220 ohms resistors, a uh, sound speaker, a photoresistor wires, a programmer cord and an Arduino circuit board. Look at, uh, at the diagram and try us the, the previous lesson, just uh, repeat after me. First connect the photoresistor. One contact of the photoresistor is connected uh, to the 5 volt supply of the Arduino and the other to 10 kilo ohms to the GND. Make the simplest resistive voltage divider. Third, we must output the signal to the analog input of the Arduino. We connect the wire A0 to the contact between the resistor and the photoresistor. After that, I connect the LED and the piezo meter to uh, 220 ohms resistor. I hope you will understand how I connect the resistor and piezo speaker. It's not difficult, you can always repeat after me so as not to be mistaken. After that we can write the program code. At the very beginning we do the sum as in the first lesson. We adjust the photoresistor to the input. After that we must configure the exchange of data between the computer and the 
Arduino 9600 bot. We introduced the operation of analog reading of data from the photoresistor. If you did everything correctly, you will get value greater than 0 and less than 1023. By creating a shadow you can see how the value change in the serial monitor. To do this do not forget to connect a serial port monitor to the Arduino. In my case I got value less than 700 but more than 300. You will have our own value that you need to remember. Let's update the program to get smart lighting with uh, audible alarms, while you will need to repeat after me. You have seen two new features, map and constrain. function you must write your values 
In my case this number is 700300. The constraint function limits EDC values. For sound we use tone operation and no tone. You can put your numerical value and see what you get. I forgot to put a semicolon and the computer gave an error. Look how it works. However, I didn't finish and decided to make a small house. I experimented a bit and see what happened. You can make a project that will shine and different tones. Friends, I think it's time to finish. I give you your homework. Try changing the numerical values in the program code and connecting two more LEDs. I wish you success in your projects. See you. Best regards, Yuri Kovalev.